have you ever wondered why you can walk past a certain building or look at a familiar picture and feel overcome with positive emotions it is argued that this is due to the constructs of the visual stimulus and the mechanisms of processing the visual information aesthetic pleasure is defined as the pleasure and positive emotions generated by visual information for example looking at a building or a picture the processing fluency theory of aesthetic pleasure argues that this type of pleasure relies on the time it takes for the brain to process the visual information. The faster the processing, the more pleasant the emotions received. According to the theory, the more simple the visual information, the easier it is to process and therefore more pleasure is generated. So symmetrical or prototypical information is easier to process than asymmetrical or novel information. It also suggests that familiar visual information is faster to process than new information. For example, your house, car, or a family member's face will elicit more pleasure than an unfamiliar building, car, or face. This is believed to be due to the existing cognitive pathways for processing this information. The main problem with this design is that a lot of people enjoy abstract artworks that, by nature, defy symmetrical and familiar shapes in lieu of complex and ambiguous information. This in itself defies the constructs of the processing fluency theory of aesthetic pleasure. Another argument may lie within the ambiguous definition of pleasure. Though hedonism itself is defined by human beings possessing the innate desire to pursue pleasure and happiness and avoid pain or punishment, the precise definition of pleasure and the means by which it comes to be are thoroughly debated by hedonistic theorists. John Mill, for example, suggests a qualitative nature of pleasure, while Jeremy Bentham believes in a quantitative evaluation. Others, such as Michael Onfray, even go so far as to suggest materialism and hedonism go hand in hand. In accordance with Onfray's views, the processing fluency theory of aesthetic pleasure can be applied to material objects such as mobile phones. With the smartphone now becoming the prototypical design for mobile phones, it can be argued that their familiar, simple, and symmetrical designs can be used to induce pleasure to the viewer, thus increasing the hedonic experience for people every day. This is just one simple example of how the processing fluency theory works and can be adapted into the materialistic objects that we surround ourselves with on a daily basis. For a more in-depth look into the processing fluency theory and the implications it holds for the hedonic experience, please take a look at my book chapter. The link is placed in the description box below.